34. France is standing six feet four inches tall. That's usually the bigger man, but tonight he'll face a man who is six foot eight. May not weighed in heavier, has the longer reach on arms and legs. All right, keys to victory for this one. For Franz Singano, he's got to start patiently and see how Helen Vajeda wants to approach this. Working into boxing range will be wise. We know how heavy his hands are, and we know how good his footwork is now. He's been dedicated to boxing. And test Hennen's wrestling. Why would you not put the big man on the floor? For Hennen Vajeda, feigns encounter. Try and draw the attack out of Franz Singano so you can capitalize on it. Stay at distance, utilize that height and reach advantage as well as that kicking game. And it goes without saying, if Francis is trying to test his wrestling, he's got to defend those takedowns. Ladies and gentlemen from Riyadh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we're set for the battle of the Giants' main event of the evening. The time has now come to brace for impact as we go five rounds or less for the PFL Super Fights Heavyweight World Championship. And now, first, introducing the blue corner at six foot eight, weighing in 261 and one half pounds, having shown only complete dominance in route to capturing the 2023 PFL Heavyweight Championship. Tonight, he enters at 13 and three as a professional, having finished all but one in victory. He brings 11 wins by knockout, one by submission. From a boarding guard to Goiás, Brazil, presenting him now, Brooklyn I, I was just told they were going to victories, three defeats, and features a devastating 12 wins by knockout, four by way of submission. From Batia, Cameroon, he fights out of Las Vegas by way of Paris, France. Hena Fajera in the gray. Big heavy leg kick from Mangano to open the action. Hennen on the front foot. And a leg kick from Problema. Absolute titans. These men are huge. <laughs> An exchange of leg kicks early. Not a bad idea to try and take the base away from these two power punchers. Hennen's waiting for that jab to come from Nganu. You can see it, he's trying to smoke it out. He keeps fainting, he keeps tempting Nganu. If Nganu throws that lead hand, he's got to be cautious because that right hand is coming over the top. Oh! <laughs> well, there's a right hand from Francis after the leg kick. Off balanced him a little bit. Take down oh. the down right there. Randy Couture told you to watch for the wrestling. Who lands the takedowns? Good level change from Francis. Well timed. Drives through. Now on top. And this is where Hayna Fajera has improved his game so much. We'll see how much. Francis climbing into the guard of Hennen Fajera. Interesting. Now Henry Bader's got that awkward grapevine. He's extending Francis so he can't posture up and strike. That's exactly what I would do to Francis if I was <laughs> underneath him. I'd have been tapping by now, Randy. <laughs> nice short shot from Ingarnu there. He needs to get his legs free. He's the good thing. Sorry, Randy. It, yeah, absolutely right. He's got to unbind those legs, bring his legs in and sit on his heels so those can't come in. The good thing about this position is Hennen's almost holding himself into this guard position. He's going to have to unhook his own legs if he wants to get back to his feet. He's looking for a Kimura here, but my goodness. How are you going to Kimura that? Oh! Triangle, triangle attempt here. Francis needs to rip out of that right now. The longer he stays, the more chance he has of getting caught. What a setup for Hennen for Hader. Get your toes out of the cage. Get your toes. Mergliata. Peeling the toes of Hena Pera out of the cage as he tries cage. to create an angle. Francis punching the left Francis hand down. Out. That Got was his a, head out of trouble. That was a great effort by Henan Fajeda from the bottom position. Holding on to that 
wrist again, trying to stifle the, the punching attack of Ngannou. Round one halfway gone. Now the far side underhook. Let's see if he can build himself up. Easier said than done from underneath somebody like Francis Ngannou, who punches from the top. Nasty work! Oh, Francis Ngannou wailing away. Look how heavy he is on the hips. Look at that position. That's beautiful work. Henderson's going to have to work tremendously hard to get Ngannou off him so he can get back to his feet. Ngannou's positioned himself, knees on the outside, feet on the inside, and he is unleashing thunder from a... Oh, he's out! He's out! He's out! He's out! And one of those took the life out of Hennon. You saw him slump. He tried to fight back up in two more games, and he went completely flat. Man, that was a beautiful finish there. Took one right out of Johnny Evelyn's book, rode him like a Division I wrestler, landing those heavy fists from. Really impressive. And the position on the back that Francis had as well, the knees on the outside, the yeah, feet on that's, the inside. That's that college like, wrestling. Lapped onto it. Very, very nice work. And as soon as he started to unleash those big punches, I mean, it was just coming through the guard of Hen and Fajeda. And look at Francis Ngannou. The emotion. He has been through so much. Fighting tonight in the memory of his young son who passed away earlier this year. He just hit so hard. See the big mouse over the left eye of Henan Panetta. What an incredible finish that was. Wow. What a terrifying individual. <laughs> the King power of the world, is ridiculous. King of the world. <laughs> Eric Nixick, Dewey Cooper. The entire Ganu camp and the outpouring of emotion from the baddest man on the planet, Francis Ngannou. And look at the relief on Ngannou's face right now, the outpouring of emotion that he must have been keeping so close to his chest all week this week, knowing the pressure that was on his shoulders, knowing the expectations from the MMA world, from the combat sports world. It's actually been since April. The gym's been, it, it, the tension. Really? Nobody wanted to talk about it. Francis took a while to come back and get back into camp. The entire gym was behind him after losing his son. Man, what an incredible performance, incredible achievement. Slips under, beautiful double, keeps his feet moving, turns the corner. Right into the butterfly guard of Hannah Pereira, steers him towards the cage. Again, slips over that big right hand, keeps his feet well, moving, you, finishes the takedown exactly where it needs to be, and then smartly steers the big man into the fence. Here you see the hammer fists. They aren't even hammer fists, they're just big fists. The sledgehammers. And there you see the life start to go out of Hannah. One of those caught him right in the temple on the left side of the temple. He's got a big mouse there. Dan Margliotta seen enough. Here you see the fist coming in. No answer, no way for Hennan Pereira to get out from under those hips and that power of Francis Nagano. And there the life goes out of him. Margliotta steps in. Man, devastating punching power. Doesn't even need to land clean. Doesn't even need to land like around the arms. He can just punch through guards. A terrifying individual. He landed a couple of right hands underneath the armpit on that far side.